<laughs> if you were to blaze across your strings in a standard scale position without having to stretch to those awkward positions, this is the trick for you. So, the problem is, when you're trying to run across the fingerboard, the way that the fingerboard is organized and the way the scale patterns are organized. So for instance, if I'm in, a, in G major, and I'm here on the, se on the seventh fret, I've got that scale position. Okay, there's an example of it, that's what it looks like. Now, if you notice, it's mostly not three notes per string, and we like patterns, hands and brains and all those things like patterns. Patterns are much easier, we can relate to them. Okay, now we've got a pattern of three there, a pattern of three there, a pattern of three there, and then we've got a pattern of two, which is almost always, when you're trying to pick it, followed by absolute chaos up here, or down below when you, you go the other way. So what we've got to do is find a way of not having that pattern of two. Now, here's a little trick that I pinched from Sean Lane. Um, it's also a trick that big band arrangers use when they're doing those big thickened line things as well. And all you do is instead of playing a standard seven note scale, you add an extra note. That's the voodoo, you just add one more note to that scale. And the note we're gonna add is the sharpened fifth or flattened sixth. Either way, it's that note in between the fifth and the sixth degrees of the scale. You add that and suddenly you've got an eight note scale that just flies, okay? Okay, yes, you wouldn't use that note to create harmony. For God's sake, don't end phrases on it. Um, it's a passing note. And if you play it on its own with the chord, for instance, here's a nice G, G major seven chord. And if I play that note, it doesn't work. But as a passing note, it's great. And it does the job. So all we do, think, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, with our new note. One, two, three, one, two, three. And suddenly we've got a scale pattern of three notes. And you can run around that in any way you like. So if you want to play each pattern twice, then that works. If you go downwards, or if you want to do that Malmsteen thing, Anything like that, all those patterns, they all work really, really well. Um, the thing translates to all of your scale patterns, all your cage patterns. If you do it there, you've got G major there. There's your two notes on a string, join them up. Three notes, extra note. Okay, if you're doing it at this position, extra note there, flat and sixth, this one we've already done, if you're up here then your flat and sixth is on the sixth string and on the first string, up here at this position, it's there, to that one okay I'll put them up um, have a good look at them practice them what I've done is I've for the extra notes um, I've just used an ordinary scale pattern for the extra notes I've put a green dot where that is so you can see very very clearly where your extra notes are okay if you like that trick if you like the videos can you please click the like and subscribe button it's on that side or that side I can't tell because the camera's backwards so click that for me I really appreciate it um, I will see you in the next video with lots of daft tips, tricks, and all sorts of things to do with music, guitars, and songs. All right, cheers. See you in the next one.